Hi, my name is Stephanie Viola. I'm the Director of Development at the AICHE Foundation. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Scott Love, AICHE Fellow, member of the Foundation Board of Trustees, and past Institute Director and Secretary. Scott began his career as a process engineer uh, at Phillips Petroleum Company's Borger Refinery in 1980 and retired as fellow of ConocoPhillips Company uh, more than 34 years later in 2015. Scott, thanks for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. So it's clear that process engineering is more than just a practice for you. It's been a lifelong passion of yours. Can you tell us a bit about what's at the root of that passion? Well, I think the the thing about being a process engineer that, that I found really thrilling, uh, especially during the early years of my practice, is that a process engineer can really see into the process. That you have the tools to understand the heat transfer and the fluid flow and the flow regimes and, and the chemistry that's going on and you can really understand what's going on in the whole process. So that ability to sort of see inside the steel pipes mm -hmm. is kind of thrilling to me. And yeah. So who, thinking back on your career and and your influencers. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of your process engineering heroes or your role models? Well, I think uh, I've had some really good role models and uh, mentors. Ed Davis, who is the director of process engineering at the Border Refinery, uh, a registered professional engineer in Texas, mm -hmm. and he had the, the uh, certificate proudly displayed in his office. Uh, and he was every bit the professional. And he knew as much about every process in the refinery as anybody mm -hmm. uh, on his staff or, or in the field or wherever. So Ed was, uh, Ed was a very good role model. Uh, probably the fact that he was a registered engineer uh, made me think that it was important to become registered and so uh, mm -hmm. before I left Border, um, I uh, became a registered professional engineer in the state of Texas and uh, then once I got to Oklahoma I actually uh, registered uh, in the state of Oklahoma as well but anyway Ed was Ed was definitely a role model um, let me think um, Bill McClintic mm -hmm. Uh, was the manager of the process engineering group in our corporate engineering uh, organization. That's, that's where I went to work after I worked in Borger. And Bill, although he was a civil engineer, was probably one of the best process engineers I ever knew. Uh, he, was, he was all about, you know, increasing your knowledge in whatever area you were involved in. So he was always taking classes and studying things and, uh, you know, provided a very good example of uh, lifelong learning. So uh, I owe him a debt of gratitude. Is that something that you think really stands out to process engineering is, is figuring out as much as you can about your area of expertise, sort of being your own, your own expert? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think that Every process engineer, whether they are responsible for one process in, a, in an operating plant or whether you're a, a design engineer um, working on different uh, industrial plants, you really need to spend a lot of time and energy learning everything you can possibly learn about the processes that you're responsible for. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and that's a process, that is a process that never ends. <laughs> a life process. A lifelong process. So what would be your, your key pearls of wisdom for, uh, for new, new process engineers starting out in their careers today? How has the culture shifted or what would be your, your advice? Well, my advice for new process engineers is learn all that you can about the processes that, 
you're responsible for. Um, there are a tremendous number of different resources available. You know, in your particular company, in your assignment, with the coworkers that you have, you know, be relentless in, in you know, looking for information about your process that uh, may make the difference between success and failure for you as well as for the process that you're responsible for. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you one more question? Sure. Did you grow up wanting to be a process engineer or what did you no, want to be when I you didn't grew even, up? No, I didn't even know there <laughs> was a such a thing. Yeah, I didn't even know there was such a thing. So what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, an astronaut, huh. actually. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, my, my heroes were the uh, Mercury 7 astronauts. Shows my age. But <laughs> uh, so, that was a big deal, but you know, um, I figured out at a fairly young age that that probably wasn't a realistic expectation because I tend to get car sick. So. <laughs> You know, uh, whole going up in a in an airplane or in a, a spaceship. While it's you know very appealing to me intellectually, I don't think my body could mm -hmm. handle it. So process engineering gives me the same sort of intellectual stimulation that I would imagine an, an astronaut might have. But um, no, I didn't grow up wanting to be a process <laughs> engineer, but. I've, I had a very fulfilling career as a process engineer, and I'm just glad to be able to help people un understand what process engineering is, because it, it, it makes such a huge difference in uh, all of the process industries. Uh, good process engineering um, can make a plant succeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Scott. You're it was very really welcome. nice chatting with you today. You're very welcome.